today we are looking at the five biggest jumps ever done in the history of parkour. We're going to look at the largest, most dangerous, and most controversial jumps of the past decade. Oh! Now when people think of parkour, they usually think of amazing flips and techniques, but today we're going to forget about all of that and we're just going to look at who has done the absolute biggest jumps. I'm talking run, take off, and land on a wall. Urban long jump with a massive element of both danger and precision. The first jump on this list comes out of Madrid, Spain in 2016. And don't get me wrong, for at least a decade before this, people had already been doing enormous big running jumps. But when this got done, it really set the standard for what was possible in parkour. When I saw this back in 2016, it completely blew my mind. And it might still be the biggest wall-to-wall -wall running pre ever done. And he just, just makes it. You'll notice he only takes 20 or so meters of run-up and isn't even running that fast for the size of the jump. But the power he generates on takeoff is unbelievable. And remember, this isn't long jump. It's not about how far you could jump. It's about how far are you willing to commit to jumping, taking in the risks and variables which change with every challenge. I'm talking about things like the height of the step up, the length of the run up, the sharpness of the wall. They all play into the difficulty of committing to a jump like this. It looks to be just under six meters with a step up and a bit of a height difference but very, very unforgiving circumstances. I'd say today there are a handful of athletes who could be up to the task, but back in 2016, I can confidently say that Shifa was the only one, both physically and mentally capable of doing a jump like this. Next up, we have the biggest upwards running jump ever done. So landing on a wall that's higher than the one you take off of. Whoa! No way! No way! No way! Jaden fucking Clark, what is wrong with you? Now, I was lucky enough to witness this firsthand at WPF camp in Basel, Switzerland, and I can confirm that he did it on the first fucking try. Now, a lot of people have trained at this spot before in Switzerland, but I don't think anyone had even looked at that jump before because it just seems so unrealistic. In fact, Paolo, an OG legend of the parkour game, did the arm jump to the closer wall the year before, and that was considered to be top level at the time. So I think that just puts into perspective how absolutely insane this running jump was. Whoa! No way! No way! No way! Jaden fucking Clark, what is wrong with you? Funnily enough, the guy filming is also an absolute legend of the game and one of the biggest jumpers to ever grace our sport. So his reaction is not to be understated. It looks like it's upwards of five and a half meters with no step up to boost your takeoff and a higher landing. The fact that he stuck it, just ridiculous. And he did it again to prove that he had enough power to overdo the jump. Wow. Jay also may or may have not been enjoying the decriminalization of certain substances in the lovely city of Basel that day. However, on the topic of upwards running jumps, there is one upwards running jump which went completely viral back in the day, blew up Reddit, and a lot of people thought it was fake. I mean, to this day, it looks absolutely unreal. Now the next jump on the list is probably the most significant and certainly the most viewed. To this day, if I had to show someone one clip to describe the whole sport of parkour, it'd probably be this. Okay, three, two, one. This served as the climax to what is undoubtedly the greatest parkour film of all time, Roof Culture Asia by Stora. Now, admittedly, this jump isn't as big as the others on the list, coming in at around five meters with level height and no step up, but it is undoubtedly the most groundbreaking jump ever done over a legitimate death gap. Not to mention that he did it twice back to back while being yelled at by security. Yeah! Yeah, we get down, we get down. Recently, Louis from WYSIWYG actually went and strided the same jump, which is completely insane. 
This is of course physically more impressive, but was very much about paying homage to Callum, who broke the jump for the first time and made us all realize it was possible. <laughs> My boy Lewis! Come on! <laughs> Next up, we have the absolute athletic specimen Brody Pawson, full sprinting at a jump so big that he doesn't quite make it on the first go. When you see an athlete who normally has impeccable technique go like this on a jump, you know it is absolutely enormous. Now tree cover has unfortunately prevented me from measuring it out on Google Maps, but it is 19 of Brody's size 11 US feet, which depending on the rubber of his shoes is somewhere between five meters 70 and six meters. Also, the fact that he bounced the first one, despite the landing being slightly down, is not to be understated. Most parkour athletes will be pushing at their absolute mental limit, but still staying behind their physical limit to make sure they can safely make a jump. Brody might actually have the best CV of big running jumps in parkour, and I think this is his biggest, but there is one more from him worth mentioning, because another athlete tried it and put into perspective just how insane Brody's jumps really are. It's a thing of beauty, and what makes it even more special is that Brody had been training at this spot in his hometown for 10 years. To do a jump that you've been looking at for that long makes it so much more difficult. It builds it up in your mind, and it makes the achievement even more impressive. Now Brody somehow managed to make that look easy, but here's Reese Broad, another top top level Australian parkour athlete, attempting the same jump. Oh, oh you good? You good? You made it! Now I'd still count that as a success. He made it to the wall and he came away uninjured. But you can see that it was right on the edge of his limit and he got a spectacular flail involved. Ooh. And for anyone criticizing, I am sure that you've never pushed yourself to the point of doing a massive flail like this just to make the jump because not many people have. Simply put, hundreds of parkour athletes would be up for cleanly doing a jump one foot smaller than this, but very, very few athletes would take on a jump like this. And that is why it's so impressive. Now the last jump on the list from only a few months ago, right here in London, clearly takes the crown for biggest and best running precision ever done in the history of parkour. I'm good. Shut down. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh it hell. Woo! That's insane. Yeah, yeah, let me go again. Devon. It's kind of hard to go again. It's gonna be hard every time. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. The fact that he took one of the heaviest bounces ever in parkour, firmed a one story drop, dealt with the adrenaline dump, calmed down, got up and did it again, makes this all the more insane. The distance comes in at a massive 6 meters 30 with a dusty limited run up and a slight drop before the landing. But wait, there's more. This jump was first attempted over 10 years ago in 2013 by Andy Tommen. That's three years before Shifa hit the first jump on this list. Yes! 
The mental fortitude it must have taken to commit to a jump so much bigger than anything that anyone else in the world had tried at this point is, is difficult to comprehend. To put this in perspective with the rest of the sport, the very best freerunners and flippers from 2013 wouldn't even crack the top 1,000 freerunners in the sport today. But somehow, Andy sent today's biggest ever jump back in 2013. <laughs> Now Andy didn't quite make the jump and landed in a crane with one leg on the wall and one leg below and of course that opens you up to a risk of injury but even attempting the jump is massively dangerous. Parkour at the highest level is dangerous, there's no way around it. However the parkour community, unlike the skate community, didn't respond well to this kind of training and labelled him Sketchy Andy as part of the mindset that you shouldn't be pushing the limits of the sport unless you can do so completely safely. Twin insisted that he was no longer sketchy. Holy, where was the tag? I personally despise that mentality, and luckily things have started to shift with recent videos like Capstone, Neophyte, showcasing movements so insane that they take on and accept a heightened level of risk. So I think it's time that people put some respect on Andy's name because I honestly think that this is the most ahead of its time jump ever attempted in parkour. Yes, I did! Oh, fuck! Yeah! It's also crazy to think that Ali was only 11 years old when this was done. This is before he even started training parkour. And Ali has been doing huge jumps since his early days of parkour. He even did this when he was 15. Yes, Ali! Back then, that was probably the biggest jump he could have done. But now he's got his man legs, and the sky is the limit. <laughs> Speaking of which, there is one mythical jump that Ali has his eye on, and if there was ever any debate left about who has done the biggest jump in parkour, this would be the end of it. At the famous Romolo Walls in Milan, there is a monster six and a half meter jump with a perfect run up, take off and landing. You can run up on the grass, hit the step up, which is wide enough to be safe that you won't miss your step, and then you just have to hope that you make it to the final wall. I've been there recently and looked at it and I can safely say that it is not for me, but so has Ali and he told me that he might be on going back next summer to see if he can get it done. But you know, no pressure. Now I already know that there's going to be people in the comments arguing about these jumps and instead of hating on me for not sharing your buddy from your hometown who you think is the best in the world, drop a comment with a link to the clip and Google Maps if possible and I'll have a look. I'll happily pin the comment of any jump that should have been on this list. Obviously there are so many parkour athletes doing massive jumps all around the world, but this video was just about highlighting the ones that have stood out to me through my 11 years of training as the absolute pinnacle of what parkour athletes are capable of. Let me know your opinion on these jumps in the comments below and please subscribe if you like this style of video. If the response is good, I will certainly make more of them. I've also got some more exciting projects on the way, so subscribe to see them when they drop and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Cheers. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I can't like move in my chair because it squeaks, so I had to hold this crazy back position the whole time. Did it for you. Subscribe. Mad at savage in my back and I'm back in it happening, ready to blow. I remember doing deeds with Deji from the street, he left me on my own. Monkey asking me about how I got the P, I told her leaving mama grow. Then they're ringing off my phone. Then they're ringing off my phone.